This may be the one length iron you've been waiting for. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here with a set of one length irons from PGX, not PXG. This is Pine Meadow Golf, and I am really excited about this particular set of one length irons. So, if you have been following me, you know that I now play one length irons. I actually tried a set of Orlemars to experiment with them. They are fantastic. They simplify the golf game. For us amateur golfers, I think it really adds the fun back because it takes out the inconsistencies of swinging a five iron, which is different than a nine iron, having to know all these different swings. Orlemars convinced me to go all in on single length iron. So I got Cobra Speed Zones and then I got Cobra Rad Speed Irons. I wouldn't go back, I absolutely love them. But I was really excited to check out these PGX single length irons because there is a problem in the low end affordable iron category. Most single length irons out there, and there are a handful of companies that make them, they are just all made to kind of your standard spec. So they are steel heads with steel shafts and a standard grip on there. And really, if you want to customize them, you're going to have to order them and take them to your local pro shop so that you can kind of build them the way you want to. Now, one of the things that I was really excited to see is that PGX offers on their website the ability to customize them, kind of like you can do on the Cobra website with those single length irons. But the problem with the Cobra irons is that the ramp speeds are $1,000 a set. Yes, you can select different shafts and grips and lengths, that's just not really that affordable for many people. And so I am really excited to see PGX offer a level of customizability from PGX right on their website so that consumers can buy a set of golf clubs without breaking the bank that are going to fit them right out of the gate. So first of all, this club here I ordered on their website and this is their single length iron set. But really the real reason that these are actually hard to make is that they're all the same head weight because all the irons are the same length, generally a seven iron length. Now, one of the things that I was really excited about is the shaft here. This is a pine metal golf graphite shaft. You can order this. It comes with a couple of options on steel shafts, but I just love the graphite shafts and irons. Puts the head weight really low here. The graphite insulates you from off center hits. It feels great. I am just really in love with graphite shafts on irons these days, and this is a fairly affordable upgrade i think eight or nine dollars a club here so it's definitely i think worth it and so you can get this built at their factory with this graphite shaft now on top of that you can customize the length of the shaft up to about an inch in either direction here so if you need them just a little bit longer a little bit shorter these are half an inch shorter than standard and that's because i'm a shorter guy and i like my irons a little bit shorter it gives me a little bit more control and that is really awesome so that you don't have to get clubs take them to your pro shop have them cut down have them regrip all of that's very expensive and so you can get them in the length that you want too now the other thing that you'll notice here is that i have an oversized grip on this so it does actually offer you a variety of options on the grip size there are a couple of different larger brands of grips offered this one is actually the wind dry tack oversize this isn't the light so it's a little bit heavier i think 40 or 50 grams per grip but i really love the construction here it's very grippy i love oversized grips even though i don't have hand problems per se it just gives me more area to grab onto it gives me a more secure feeling especially if you have larger hands you should definitely be going to larger grips and they aren't really that much bigger to be honest everyone that has tried these has always said wow that's awesome i really should switch because regular standard grips feel super small after you use a oversized grip like this so you can order the grip that you want on here too so when you get your delivery from pine meadow golf you get the club set up exactly the way you want from the shaft to the shaft length to the grip which is really awesome now if we take a look at this head here which is really nice i am actually really impressed with it it has a polished bottom here a polished sole color filled pine meadow logo right there the number of the club right there and then on the back what we have is a cavity back and what you can see here is that that cavity goes all the way to the sole so the little piece back here there's actually a wall that cavity goes all the way to the bottom which means all of the heavy metal is around the perimeter of the club so you get a really nice perimeter weighting which is going to be very forgiving for off center hits we have a pretty thin face i can tell you that's pretty thin and then we have this little medallion here i think it's just a press sheet metal it says pgx right there it's really nice looking it's got almost like a little carbon fiber type of print on the top there so that's going to stick out of your bag and look pretty nice but i think it's just glued on there i know on the cobra speed zones they use like a tpu medallion and and then glued that in there and it's really for sound deadening and aesthetics more than anything else and then on the front this is all pretty standard we kind of have the sandblasted finish right here a little white line for alignment and you can see the top of the blade here is maybe just a little bit chunky for me it's never really bothered me that they're big or small 
You can also see there that it looks like there's just a little bit of offset in the seven iron as well. So probably a very forgiving club. And while the experience with Pine Meadow Golf has impressed me so far, we really need to see how good these irons are. So let's hit them. So I have been playing around with these PGXs and they are pretty awesome. So like I said, I went to the range and the data was pretty promising. So I will say that I think my launch monitor at the range is maybe not as accurate as a GC quad or something indoors, but I will say that I didn't see any discernible difference between the way I was hitting these versus my rad speeds. In fact, when I went ahead and measured up the data Data against the data that I know I record with my rad speeds on average each of the comparable clubs was going about four yards shorter than what I have recorded with my rad speeds now I will say that data difference is not very large in fact even the club head speed here was about 81 miles an hour on average that I was recording I usually record about 82 with my rad speeds so maybe it's just a little bit slower with this because they were new maybe they're just slightly heavier you know it's possible because I have removed some weight in my rad speeds that I can get those clubs moving a little bit quicker but four yards shorter does not not seem like a lot of distance and in fact to be really honest maybe it was just the wind or the temperature or the heat or whatever it might be but that being said I am really impressed with these and I would say that the kicker here is that you can go ahead and order this custom to you with the limited options you know three shaft options maybe half a dozen to a dozen grip options but what you can do is you can order this the way you want it in a way that i have never seen from another single length club manufacturer that is six hundred dollars cheaper than the big oems and this one cost me about 350 bucks so i am really impressed with that you get basically 95 percent of the performance for a third of the price and i think you can't beat that so if you're looking to try one length irons but you said hey I really need to have them adjusted and fitted to me based on my specs well try out to the pine metal golf configurator and pick yourself up a set I don't think you'll be disappointed with them I'll put a link to them in the description below Peter Von Panda out we can discover more and explore so much deeper we can live better than ever thanks to Peter Peter Von Panda Right, so I've been playing with PXGs, worked myself up. I have not been playing with PXGs, I've been playing with PGXs.